Yeah, okay, and hi all, and welcome to the shed. I'm just going to make a short video on my recent purchase. Um, so it was this here Mitsubishi uh, Magna slash Verada. Um, it's a 1997, 330,000 kilometres on the clock. Um, I'm just showing the video of how it was presented when I purchased it. Okay, so I'll show you a few little things here and there. Got all of the uh, spider webs in the grill. That's okay. Um, paintwork's obviously gone. Oh, there's a tire flat. It was pumped up when I got it. Okay. Um, I'll just have a look around the car and I'll show you a few things. And uh, then we'll have a little talk about it. Uh, look at that. A bit of spider web there on the, on the wheels there as well. Wonderful. Um, and this is how it was presented when it was for sale. Um, so I'm told that it sat for two years uh, without being used um, and that's basically it so let's have a look at a few things oh look here we go bit more uh, spidey web stuff on the on the wheels there up under the guards there and that's it that's how it's presented so I bought this really really um, quite cheap uh, people had it on old gum tree and uh, obviously we're having some problems selling it didn't have a price on it either uh, it was make an offer so I made an offer uh, a little bit less than what they wanted I think um, a little bit of bantering and I still got it cheap and a little bit less than what they wanted offer while we're at the wheels there again, first of all have a look at the size of the tyre so basically it is nowhere near the correct size of the car it's uh, way too small to tell you the truth the wheels are factory 16 but uh, tires are way too small anyway let's have a bit of a look so there's the engine bay complete with a few more spider webs just the odd one or two leaves I might uh, a little underestimate there just a few um, I've taken Taking an engine cover off here. It's something I'm going to use on my car. I provided the battery. You can see that it's reasonably clean, actually. So I provided the battery. So remember, people, this is how the car was presented. Now, if you want to sell a car at a reasonable price, you're going to need to present it reasonably well, even if it is an old clunker like this this thing here. Um, in reality, once upon a time, it was a very, very nice car. And once again, it could be a very, very nice car. So, um, yep, the uh, brake calipers were on the floor there, they, they came with it just like that. And everybody else that's on the floor there. I took the steering wheel cover off because I wanted to have a look at it. But this is the Verada, so it had leather interior, had uh, the wood grain on the dash, the chrome door handles, uh, the wood grain on the, I mean, the, the leather trims on the door. Uh, what else did it have? It had uh, a leather armrest. Leather gear knob, that was rather nice. Came with a nice stereo, that'll be good. Um, came with a leather steering wheel, they did originally, and uh, all lights underneath the foot wheels, lights that flash down the ground, lights in the in the rear pillars. That'd be rather pretty if they worked well, actually, yeah, they do. Nice leather rear seats. This is what came with the, um, the stock standard hanging down um, hood lining. I think they came stock standard after about 10 years they did in these cars. Um, boot. That's pretty much how it was presented too. Just a few little leaves and muck and stuff there. Pretty isn't it? Pretty nice. They originally came with a in-boot CD stacker system. That wouldn't work anymore because it's got the different stereo. And they originally came with the, the cover there as well. So that's quite pretty. That's the first starter motor. Apparently it still works. Washer bottle. Apparently it's still good. Never been bought been never been fitted. Come to the tow bar, that's handy. I can uh, make sell that. Uh, tires on the back are a bit bigger than the front. Standard, um, still smaller than standard. Window tuning is great. 
you know, I'll open the door and show you how good it is. See how well you can see through that. That's actually looking clearer in the camera than what it really does. It's you it wouldn't pass a roadworthy at all. Oh, inside the doors. Lovely. Beautiful. Been well looked after. I took the seat covers off because I wanted to have a look at the seats. Too bad condition still. Just need some good leather protector and restorer. Electric seats too, electric driver seat. That's always nice. I say it come with 330,000 k on the clock, that's a few kilometres, but no, it still could be a good car. Um, seat's a bit worn. Oh, look, power steering pump spare from the wreckers. Uh, leather wheel. These originally had um, um, stereo controls on the radio. Rather pretty. Original um, little pop up doovery there for your cup holder. <coughs> Nice little ash receiver. They don't smoke. Waste of money. Another little thing there, and a, it's called an accessory plug. Coin holder from back in the days when tollways actually used coins. They still work though, those little hatches, a lot of the time they break. That one latch is broken. That's okay, still got a nice cover though. The leather cover could come up nice and clean. Driver seat's got a couple of tears, but if you YouTube some fixes for it, they can be fixed and still used. Chrome door handles, did I say that? Let's uh, see how she runs. Yeah, it's not real pretty either. But anyway, we'll give it a go. Oop. Oh, listen to that. Bit rattly, bit squealy. That seems to run well. The air conditioner runs, but it's not gassed up. Had this running for 20 minutes of the day and uh, got a little smoky out the exhaust. And a little bit of water coming out the exhaust. Surprise, surprise. Give it a few reps. Here we go. Ooh. Just uh, a little bit of smoke there. Anyway, I didn't bike for its engine. Bought it for a few parts and that sort of thing, um, and that's what I'll probably do with it. Thinking that um, I'll turn that off, make sure you can hear me still. Mmm, smells oily too. So I'm thinking that I'm probably going to um, do a clean up on it to show you how a car, even like this, could be presented for sale. Yes, it's got blown head gaskets. It blows, um, sucks a lot of oil into the engine. Um, there's evaporation water in the rocker covers and she blows bubbles in the radiator as well well that just had some pressure you know it blows bubbles when it's running there too so definitely head gasket's gone 330,000 k it's probably not too bad um 97 these things come out this come out with a 3.5 liter too so that was pretty cool for that era most of these cars come with a three liter so that's something 3.5 XI. So you saw what the XI means, that'd be great. Verada. Top of the line at its time. Oh yeah, that's a bit... There you go, shut now. But anyway, this could be if you wanted to make something on it. If I wanted to make something of this car, I have a spare engine sitting there that's done 180,000 kilometers only and it runs quite nice. Um, the automatic transmission runs well. Those things run well. But, people, this is a car that hasn't been looked after. I mean, look at the seal coming off the air cleaner. And that's black in there. Disgusting. I won't even bother trying to put the seal back in. That's just, you know, just a sign of what happens to a car when it's not looked after. If you want a car to last, look after it. Put some oil changes on it. Change the air cleaner. Check your water. Change your oil. Look at that sludgy looking stuff in there. Like the engine's gonna like that. But anyway, that's the way it is. Uh, and as I say, I didn't buy it for the engine. The transmission works, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for a bit of a play, a bit of education. And uh, I'm looking at using that front bar myself in my car. 
So there you go. As I say, that's that's what it looked like. Pretty horrible, pretty dodgy. If you want to get reasonable money for a car, clean it up, make it look good. It's got a lot of hail damage, that doesn't matter. You still clean up and make it look good. Anyway, there you go. So um, look out further. Well, I'm going to give this car a clean up. Not today, but soon. And I um, might show a little bit of that and uh, see what it can look like if you cleaned it up. Nice headlights. Look at that. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.